Hello friend, my name is Dr. Wilfred Graves Jr. and I would like to welcome you to the teaching series Healthy Habits of the Christian Life. Dr. Kenneth Hammonds, Dr. Oscar Owens and I are the three Bible teachers and we're thrilled that you have joined together with us to learn about spiritual disciplines. If you would like to watch previous sessions in this series, we invite you to visit our website 3 Bible teachers.com. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, these classes are being offered virtually on Zoom. If you would like to join in on one of the live sessions, please send an email to 3 Bible teachers at gmail.com. Together, the 3 Bible teachers are communicating God's word in clear, engaging, and practical ways. Our goal is is to help you to become a mature and a fully developed disciple of Jesus Christ. If you'd like to connect with me personally, I invite you to visit my website, wilfredgraves.org. In this video, I will introduce the spiritual discipline of journaling. A journal is a written record of personal thoughts, experiences and observations. A spiritual journal helps us to reflect upon our daily lives so that we can clearly discern God's presence, his guidance, and his dealings with us. I'm sure that some of you have already discovered the beauty of journaling. I've been journaling consistently for the last 30 years and my spiritual journal contains all kinds of wonderful things. For example, I write down significant events and important spiritual insights in my journal. I sometimes include dreams or visions that I receive from the Lord. I include those in my journal. Quite frequently, I also write down my prayer requests and any answers to my prayers. I put those in the journal as well. It's exciting to be able to look back at old journals to see how I have grown personally and also to see how God has constantly been working in my life. Typically whenever I learn something new about God or I discern his wisdom in particular ways, I will include this in my journal. At times, I'll also put some of my poetry um, or some of the songs that I have written to the Lord. I'll put those in my journal as well. Many of my teachings, many of my sermons have come from the exercise of journaling. In fact, the outline of my book, In Pursuit of Wholeness, came to me as I was journaling before the Lord. I have found that journaling keeps me accountable to my spiritual commitments and it provides a written record of what God says and what he does in my life. So I highly recommend the spiritual discipline of journaling. Now there's no one way to keep a journal. Journaling is a very personal experience. Some people write every day in their journal. Others uh, write in their journals once a week and still others only journal um, special events. I encourage you to find your own rhythm and your own pace. Some people um, don't write at all but they prefer to document their days using pictures or drawings. Maybe they're an artist and so they want to be creative in the way that they construct a journal. Some people uh, even use newspaper clippings uh, to characterize uh, their spiritual walk with the Lord in a journal. But the key to spiritual journaling is discovering an approach that helps you to reflect on what God is saying to you and doing in your life. If you're new to journaling, you may want to start out with a prayer journal or maybe a scripture journal or even a thanksgiving journal. Let me describe these briefly. 
in a prayer journal, for example, I suggest that you begin your journal by simply acknowledging the Lord. Lord, I honor your presence with me. Or, Lord, I give you praise. I, I love you. You're so good. Uh, I invite you to direct my pathways. So start out your journal just by acknowledging the Lord. And then after your acknowledgement of the Lord, honestly share with him what's on your heart and mind. So Lord, uh, this one event has been weighing me down. I need your help in this area. I need you to manifest your love and your healing and your salvation and your power. This is a time where you can really open up to the Lord. So acknowledge him and then open up to him. Now, after you do that, take a listening posture. You may recall that I did a video on listening prayer. You may want to rewatch that video. But after you have done the first two steps, take a listening posture before the Lord. Lord, what do you want to tell me? I'm open to your instruction and your direction and just wait on the Lord for a while. And then after you've done that, deal with anything that God reveals to you. And so you may ask for forgiveness or you may ask God to cleanse you from unrighteousness. Um, you may ask God to encourage you or to give you strength. Uh, whatever it is that God places on your heart, respond to him in a positive way. And then just start praising God. After you've heard God and listened to him and responded to him, begin to praise him. Lord, I love you. Lord, I, I thank you. I thank you that you're showing up during this time of journaling and, and prayer. I, I open myself up to more and more of your direction. And then don't forget to intercede for other people. Um, Dr. Hammonds uh, uh, did a teaching on intercession a few weeks ago. I invite you to rewatch that video as well. But uh, intercession is something that you may want to include in your time of journaling and then wait on the Lord waiting on the Lord is something that you will continually do in the journaling process wait I, I suggest you maybe wait five minutes or so after you've uh, kind of gone before the Lord and unburdened yourself and praised him and thanked him and um, interceded for others wait on him again and say Lord uh, is there anything else that you want to show me? Is there anything else that you want to communicate to me? And then write it down. Whatever God places on your heart, record that in your journal. Remember this, journaling is a deeply personal practice. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. So that's a prayer journal in a nutshell. I also like the idea of keeping a scripture journal. In a scripture journal, I suggest that you write down various verses or even whole passages that are on your heart. After writing down these verses, begin to reflect on them. Think about the meaning of the verses. Think about what God is teaching you about himself. What is God revealing to you about his love and his care for you? Also, what is God showing you about yourself in his word? What is God revealing to you about other people or the way the world works? All of these truths are buried in the word of God. And so you can use a journal to reflect on the word and to tease out the meaning of those passages. And whatever you believe God is saying to you, write it down. And thirdly, I want to mention a thanksgiving journal. As we approach uh, the holiday of Thanksgiving, it's a perfect time to keep a Thanksgiving journal. In the class session entitled An Attitude of Gratitude uh, that we uh, looked at uh, a few months ago, I gave a homework assignment for you to create a gratitude journal. Now, in a gratitude journal, we simply write down each day one or more things for which we are thankful. So recently I wrote in my journal how I'm thankful to God for moving me to Southern California. Out of that move came so many blessings. 
I met my wonderful wife in Southern California. I also gained a great church family right here in Southern California. Uh, I've made lifelong friends. I've grown in ministry. So many beautiful and wonderful things have happened to me simply by listening to the Lord and coming to Southern California. So it's good to write down what it is for which we are grateful. Keeping a journal helps us to remember what God has done for us, and it also provides a record of our responses to his goodness. So you can think of journaling then as a companion to the various spiritual disciplines that we have learned about this year. When we pray, we can journal at the same time. Journaling helps us to keep track of what God is saying to us. When we spend time in God's word, journaling can become an important way to record what we are reading or studying or meditating on. In a journal, we can reflect on our times of intercession or we can place within it a personal mission statement or anything else of spiritual value. In our class on confession, I encouraged you to say the same things that God says. These statements can be placed in your journal. God, you love me. I am a joint heir with Jesus Christ. I am accepted in the beloved. Sin will not have dominion over me. I am more than a conqueror. So these are all true statements from God's word. These are things that we can repeat and we can declare, but there are also things that we can write in our journal. And so they will build our faith and they will give us something to reflect on as we return to our journal at a later date. So journaling is a simple but powerful practice that can bring tremendous encouragement and insight to the Christian walk. So I highly recommend that you avail yourself of this wonderful spiritual discipline. I'll stop here, but I hope that this teaching on journaling has been a blessing to you. I invite you to check out my website for more teachings on this subject. My website, once again, is wilfredgraves.org. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.